Hello everyone, welcome to day 38. So as we dive deeper into the story of the Bhagavad Gita, what we realize is that this is not only a story about a hero who's lost his way. The Bhagavad Gita is also one of the greatest love stories between human and God, the supreme reality, the divine mystery, and human and guru or spiritual teacher. And in the traditions of the Vedas, these two relationships are often fused into one. And we'll see students of these traditions offering pranams, bowing to their feet, touching their feet, and treating them like a god. And why is this? Well, as I've stated, Indian philosophical traditions are understood to be darshanas, visions of reality. And a guru or spiritual teacher is understood to be anchored in a vision of reality that is godlike. And if you have the experience to be amiss such a teacher, and you experience their darshan, their gaze upon you, and the experience of all the negativity falling away, all these limiting stories about yourself falling away, all of your feelings of alienation falling away, you cannot help but fall because the guru or the teacher is seeing you in your true light. And Arjuna has this experience with Krishna. Arjuna knows that Krishna has this pristine clarity because he has him in his life as a friend and a mentor. But now, after pouring out his heart and still not feeling inclined to step into the role of a warrior, he pleads to Krishna to take him as a spiritual student. And so this is a very beautiful part of the Bhagavad Gita where their relationship now as student and teacher will unfold in the most beautiful way. Om peace.